today is a luxury haul. I'm super excited to be doing this haul as I am with every other luxury haul. But I'm introducing you to one of my favorite online retailers. This is a retailer which I've been shopping at ever since I started earning money. I was introduced to this retailer by a couple of my friends who are a lot older than me. They said this is one of their favorite online stores to shop at because they have stuff which is not available in store yet or for purchase. You can pre-order stuff. There are a few websites that do this, but this is one of my favorites. They have some amazing pieces from an array of insane designers. Luxury, high street, contemporary, you name it, they have it. So without further ado, I'm gonna be unboxing my package from Luisa Roma. I actually filmed a vlog when I received this because I was too excited to unwrap it, I just couldn't wait. But as you can see, here is the packaging. And here is the massive box. I absolutely love receiving boxes like this and you'll see in the video, the vlog that we've done that I, I'm just like so excited. Black clean packaging is just, it's just so me. I love it. Like I said, when it comes to online shopping, you spend the money it's less painful because you don't actually see the money going and when you receive the item in a few days you're like super excited about it because it's literally like Christmas every time you get a present. So I'm going to quickly open this box up and as you can see I did actually retie this because in the video I literally ripped it apart and kind of showed you guys what was in it but that will be coming after this video unfortunately. As you can see I purchased another pair of GM Vito Rossi's, it's a brand I'm currently loving and have been obsessed with for the past few years now, as well as two t-shirts. So first I'm going to go through the shoes because I'm really excited about these. These are Gian Vito Rossi, it's an Italian brand, and I purchased my first pair of Gian Vito's, I think a couple of years ago, if I'm not mistaken, and ever since then, I've been obsessed with the brand because their shoes are so elegant, so simple and classic, as well as comfortable. Comfort is like a huge thing for me these days. Initially, when I started purchasing my shoes, I would just purchase designer heels for the sake of having designer heels. Like, my Christian Louboutins, I've got so many pairs that I haven't actually worn out because they're just way too uncomfortable. They look great as art pieces, like my hot chicks, I haven't worn those, but they look great as art because they're ridiculous. I went for another black pair, I bought a classic pair. These are in fact the Portofinos, and if I'm not mistaken they're in 100 millimeters. And these are size 36, although I can vary from a 36 and a half slash 36. These were open toe, so I was like, you know what, I might as well just go for a 36 because you do get room in the front. Brand new, as you guys can see, they don't actually sell any secondhand on the website, but they do actually offer furniture, which is really random, but design a furniture, how cool is that? Everything comes with a security tag on them for return reasons and like hygiene reasons, I guess. Like imagine people that purchase stuff and then return them after like wearing them once, stunting on Instagram and just being like, yeah, so. I love these, they are black suede, and I am in fact considering repurchasing the nude suede because mine have com got completely ruined. I do have a very similar pair of nude suede from Givenchy, which are very comfortable, but I do genuinely prefer the Gian Vito's. They do come in shorter heel height, so if you're not interested in wearing 100mm, you can get a shorter heel height. I will be doing a try-on video soon, I might just include these in fact in a lookbook as opposed to a try-on so you guys will get to see them on foot later on. As I previously mentioned in my last video, I do want to start purchasing more designer clothes as opposed to accessories and stuff. I do feel like they hold their value just as much depending on what you purchase, which is why I purchased two St. Laurent t-shirts. These are very classic t-shirts. Although they are seasonal, they're like very simple and easy to wear. And as you guys can see, I love super oversized t-shirts because they're just really comfortable to throw on, particularly in this heat and for summer I felt like they were perfect. It is in fact a men's shirt but I do believe they come in women's sizes. Unfortunately they didn't have the women's size in stock so I did purchase the men's. This is a medium so it's slightly oversized but it's pretty much like an oversized small when it comes to like off-white. Like I feel like these are the exact same size and I do tend to roll up my sleeves and just kind of tuck it in to give it more of like a like this is supposed to be oversized look as opposed to I'm wearing my boyfriend's t-shirt and he's huge. So my next item, like I said, is another Saint Laurent t-shirt. This is something I actually wore yesterday, hence why the little tag thing is not on it. I actually wore it yesterday because I had nothing to wear and I was so excited. So this is the no smoking t-shirt. It's a size small in black 
with the tiny logo. You can get the big logo in the middle, but I thought that was a bit too much. So I went for the small one. It does come in white, but I don't think they had that color. And I don't have many black t-shirts. I'm trying to like incorporate more black into my wardrobe. <laughs> not that I need to, but black t-shirts. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I did really like this. This is a small. Like I said, I will show you guys these um, pieces in a lookbook or a try-on, but right now I'm just like not in the mood to do a try-on. I'm so ill, as I'm sure you guys can tell from my voice. I love the quality. In comparison to Givenchy t-shirts, they're actually quite a lot thinner. So that's nice, they're quite airy. And yeah. Next, I purchased another top, but it is not from like a luxury designer brand. This is in fact from a brand called Self Portrait. I'm sure many of you guys know it. It is a cute little ruffle top, as you can see. Something I wouldn't usually opt for, but because it is summer, I felt like it was something really cute and elegant to wear. My two favorite words right now, cute and elegant. It's got like this bandeau detailing underneath, so it's not like fully covered, and it does show a bit of skin through it. You can obviously see your arms. <laughs> it is sleeveless, but it's really cute. Like my sister, genuinely really like this like she doesn't like any of my clothes but she really liked this purchase it's got like a cute little peplum effect as well so if you are kind of like heavy on the bottom this kind of like blends it out as opposed to wearing like a short top which just like accentuates your curves this kind of like accentuates your curves but in a more flattering way I genuinely really love self-portrait like it's a brand which I've been purchasing for a few years now and they make some really cute pieces like pieces which you can wear during the day for like, you know, brunch or like, you know, even like a shopping day out in the sun. Or you could even wear them with like heels and go out in these items, like to dinner, you know. I wouldn't necessarily say you could wear these clubbing. You probably could, depending on what kind of person you are. I feel like Elise would wear this clubbing because she's so extra. Then I purchased a little dress from Self Portrait. I love their dresses. This is in fact a little like sailor-esque kind of dress. It is off the shoulder and it's got these two ties on the side. I feel like these ties are so necessary. Strapless dresses I'm not a huge fan of. I feel like I've got man shoulders. So I don't like showing them off. I'm also not a huge fan of my arms. Just putting out all my insecurities there, guys, so you can like mock me in the comments. So I feel like these ties kind of take away that element of like boxiness and kind of make your arms look a lot nicer. Though Some people may disagree, but I feel like it's really flattering. You guys will see when I put this on. One thing I absolutely love about this is that it has pockets. Guys, dresses with pockets are winning. It's got like almost like a boning on the bodice, which is really good. It kind of holds everything in. And it's got a cute cutout detail in the middle. Obviously, you guys can't really see what it looks like like this, but I promise you, super cute on with flats and heels. Like I can't wait to pair this with a pair of like nude heels for a cute little tea party. That's what we do. We we do brunches and tea parties. <laughs> I'm having major off the shoulder moments, so I did in fact purchase another off the shoulder top. This is from Cameo Collective, which I believe is an Australian brand. You guys can't really see how cute it looks like on camera until I try this on, but it is in fact like a bandeau top. So the back is like open. It's got a little zip up at the back to kind of hold everything in. Obviously, it is in fact off the shoulder strapless. But the cuss of it is really elegant, like it's floaty, it's not like a tube top. And it's got all these layers which I felt added loads of like dimension to the top. It does come in white, but I purchased the black because I felt it was a bit more formal. I think I might go back and get the white, I don't think they had my size in the white. Next I purchased another off the shoulder top guys. I'm having an off the shoulder moment, I'm sorry if you guys aren't loving it, but this is basically a plain creamy white off the shoulder top with almost like bell sleeves, they're not really, they're like fluted sleeves with slits in them, super cute and this is from a brand called Alexis. Basically these four items that I just showed you, like the dress and the tops, I purchased from a store, one of my favourite boutiques in Dubai called Source. I haven't been there in ages because I've literally not bothered going shopping in store for so long. I did feel the need to go check out the store because they have some amazing stuff for, like parties and I will be attending quite a few different things this summer so I thought why not check it out, see what they have. I never leave that store empty handed. I literally always go in and pick up stuff. That store is literally one of my favorite stores. If you haven't checked it out, they do actually have an online store so you can check that out. 
but if you come to Dubai that is one place you don't want to miss out on going to because you will definitely find a gem in there we did film in there so you guys will be able to check out the shopping vlog you'll actually see what I mean when I say the place is so eclectic and cute everything in that store is like amazing like walking in is like a little girl's heaven if you guys want a lookbook let me know i'll definitely put one together for you guys with elise and that's basically all that i bought i've put links to all the items that i've purchased down below as well as like alternative and because it is sale season guys you can probably find some of these items on sale so i'll put discount codes below because who doesn't love saving money like i said this in my last video saving money on designer items is like the best feeling in the world i hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up let me know in the comments what your favorite items were thank you guys for watching